Myanmar. The official name of this Southeast Asian nation, commonly known as Burma, is a must-see destination for travelers who love beaches and Buddha. This beautiful country is dotted with thousands of Buddhist temples. In addition, it has serene white beaches along the Andaman Sea and the Bay of Bengal. Myanmar is slowly opening up to foreign tourism, so travelers who want to experience a more traditional Burma can visit this place. If you are planning a Myanmar tour and wondering which attractions you should visit, then definitely watch this video to know about the popular tourist attractions of this country. Millions of tourists visit this lovely country each year. Myanmar, also known as Burma, is the second largest country in Southeast Asia. is more than just its size that contributes to its popularity as an adventure travel destination. This fascinating, culturally rich country has a lot to offer, with towns dating back thousands of years, holy religious sites, spectacular trekking routes, and even wonderful beaches. Even though many regions are still off limits to tourists, Myanmar has some truly spectacular treasures that are just waiting to be found. Since tourists are starting to catch on, it's imperative to go now before it gets too popular. Today, let's discuss about Myanmar's stunning locations. Bagan. To many explorers, Bagan offers the most mind-blowing scene in all of Myanmar. This UNESCO World Heritage Site in the heart of the country consists of over 2,200 medieval temples, gorgeously draped over a valley. What once was the capital of the Kingdom of Pagan is now a legendary cultural symbol and a truly mesmerizing tourist destination. The best way to discover this architectural wonder is by hot air balloon during sunrise when the first light of the day sets the plains of Bagan ablaze with mystic light. But a bicycle tour is also fun since you can navigate the sandy roads that connect many of the impressive shrines. The Shwazenda Pagoda is one of the largest and most majestic temples and an excellent spot to witness the sunrise. Kala. Only 70 kilometers west of Inal Lake is the Shan State mountainous town of Kala. Kala is a more commercialized variant of Saipa and draws tourists mostly because of the trekking opportunities. The market is a hub for locals and a fun spot to experience Kala's culture outside of the municipal limits. Some picturesque structures, such the Christ, the King Church, and the Shui Omen Pagoda, can be found across the town. The majority of tramping excursions are multi-day journeys from Kala to Pindaya, a town best known for the Pindaya Caves or Inna Lake. You can stay at monasteries or guest houses along the journey, where you'll be welcomed by the local Shan people. These journeys let explorers explore the picturesque plantations, secluded villages, and open spaces of Burma. Shwedagon Pagoda. The Shwedagon Pagoda is recognized by UNESCO as an important cultural value, much like Bagan, and has been added to their list of World Heritage Sites. The Shwedagon Pagoda is without a doubt the most striking building in Yangon, the most populous city in Myanmar. It is located in the city center. Given that it houses various artifacts from earlier Buddhas, as well as the actual remains of the Buddha Gautama, this pagoda is the most revered Buddhist stupa in Myanmar. 
The main stupa is a magnificent work of architecture with gold plates on the exterior and a height of 112 meters overall. Numerous smaller but no less spectacular stupas surround this large stupa. You have the option of taking a guided tour or exploring the 46 hectare complex on your own. villages on its shores, the surrounding mountains, and the fishermen harvesting their catch from small boats make Inna Lake as magical as it is picturesque. Inna Lake is 116 square kilometers in size and is located nearly 900 meters above sea level. It's fascinating to watch the people on the lake working on their crafts, harvesting vegetables in their floating gardens, or paddling across the lake looking for fish. Book a private boat tour to see the locals balance on their boats while fishing with their hands and feet. After sunset, it's worth going to Neon Tree's Night Market to buy crafts and fill your stomach with street food. British rule, Yangon was oddly anglicized to Rangoon, but it is one of the world's great unsung cities and certainly the friendliest. The Garden City of the East is best known for housing Myanmar's holiest of hollies, the 2,500-year-old Shwedagon Pagoda. Shwedagon, at 325 feet tall and covered in 60 tons of gold, dominates the city skyline. Despite the fact that Yangon is much more than Shwedagon, Yangon is truly an urban experience unlike any other, with fine exotic hotels and restaurants, a burgeoning art scene, rare antique shops, fascinating markets, and even the nightlife is surging with new energy. most and spectacular site is Sadar Cave, and this charming town offers a relaxing atmosphere, more caves, and limestone mountains. It's a fascinating place to watch everyday life unfold, from women carrying vegetables to monks walking the quiet streets to the farmer's market. Climbing Mount Suigaven, just outside of Apayan, is an incredible experience that allows you to see a beautiful monastery and a jaw-dropping sunrise or sunset. The Kyotka Lat Pagoda is a must-see attraction in town. This Buddhist temple is magnificently constructed on a towering limestone pillar and is surrounded by breathtaking mountain views. Hundreds of Buddha statues can be found in the surreal Lumbini Gardens, which have a beautiful backdrop of mountains. Saipa. Saipa is a small town in Myanmar's rural eastern countryside. Expect countryside living and untouched landscapes rather than humming nightlife or Mandalay's liveliness. Although Saipa has few attractions, it serves as an excellent base for multi-day treks to the surrounding mountains and villages. Because Saipa does not receive many tourists, the best way to arrange tramps is through village guest houses. During the trek, you will frequently visit the Namtep waterfalls just outside of town, 
remote Shan villages, and the hilly countryside with all of its crops. If you participate in multi-day walks, you will have the opportunity to stay with mountain tribes, learn more about their culture, and visit exotic locations. Thank you for taking the time to watch our videos. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel and press the bell button for your next dream travel destination videos.